Let's create this custom textured, uh, vibrant cake together. I first started with a vanilla cake and vanilla frosting. I usually work with uh, slightly cold or frozen cake layers. I start stacking my cake and adding the vanilla frosting in between the layers. I usually kind of ballpark the amount of buttercream I put inside each layer, but I keep an eye on that because I like if my cakes to have equal amounts of buttercream. So here I'll start spreading it. And when I realize I have a little bit more than needed, I might take out a few uh, small amount of buttercream, put it back in the bowl. And then I like to straighten uh, the uh, layer of buttercream completely flat with the offset spatula. Then I go ahead and add the second uh, layer of vanilla cake and I align the cake layers so they're uh, totally aligned on top of each other. Then I go ahead and add the, another layer of buttercream. Once again, really even it out with that offset spatula. And then the last layer of cake, I always put it upside down so I can have a really flat top. Then we go ahead and do the uh, crumb coat, which is a thin layer of buttercream. And I spread it all over the cake. I make sure I don't have any gaps of cake showing because you can actually put the cake in the fridge with a crumb coat and just leave it in there for a couple of hours or even another day. Then I totally smoothen out this crumb coat layer with the cake scraper and also chop off the top just with the back of an offset spatula. I will go ahead and chill that cake and get ready for the second layer of frosting. Now the cake is completely chilled and we go ahead and add the second layer of frosting which is a thick layer where we will put the final design on the cake. I start by smoothing out the top first because I use American buttercream and it can uh, crust and harden and plus um, my cake is chilled so that American buttercream will harden. So smooth the top of the cake first with the back of the offset spatula, make it completely straight and then go ahead and work on the sides and move the spatula up and down to kind of eliminate any air bubbles and smooth in all the frosting on the cake. After I do that, I move on to the cake scraper, which really gets the sides of the cake very smooth. Then I go ahead and fill any gaps of buttercream with more buttercream and then keep smoothing until it's completely smooth sides. This process might take a few minutes of scraping. Then I move on to chopping off the edges with the back of the offset spatula. Then I go ahead and chill the cake again for that final decoration. All right, after that, for some reason, my camera didn't work for a bit, but I will show you how I added these textures on the cake. I used an offset spatula that is tapered off like this. I put some buttercream on the back and then I kind of keep sweeping it on the cake to create these textures. Now I do not use the scraper here, otherwise it will smoothen all these colors and it will give you a watercolor effect. So we leave the textures on. Then I added edible gold uh, leaf. It's very delicate, so I usually switch off the AC or close the windows because it can just fly off and go in places that I don't want it to. I use the brush to gently place it on the cake and you could see the entire design of the cake is flowing in a certain direction and I make sure when I add the gold leaf it's also flowing in that same direction as the design keeping everything you know in the same movement in the same flow. I'm gonna add a few more things like sprinkles and some dollops of um, buttercream. Here, this are our pink gold sprinkles. I kind of speeded this up because I just keep adding them randomly around the cake. Yeah. 
Then to place a macaron standing up, I put a toothpick st uh, sticking out of the cake where I want the macaron to be and then I stick the macaron onto that. And then here I'm, it's a vanilla macaron so I also painted it in uh, edible gold just to have like the gold color tie up in the whole design. And then I place the rest of my macarons where I want to keep them and also one at the back. After that, I added some star-shaped uh, pipings around the cake in white and purple, just again randomly uh, in the same flow of the cake design. And that's it. This is how I created this textured and colorful custom cake.